The anger of political people does can't change it. There is nothing that can alter divine agenda. Sir. Once you can alter the sun and the moon from taking their place, you can't alter God's agenda. Praise God. If you check the drama in Revelation chapter 12, the, devil, the dragon cast water after the woman to drown her. But the earth swallowed the water. Praise God. There, there is nothing that has not been done to stop the church of Christ in the world. But it's impossible. Anyone attempting is just playing the fool. Playing the fool. Mischievous foolishness. It can happen. The church will see the end of the world. Not the other way around. Glory to God. Why do the Edens rage and the people imagine the same thing? The kings of the earth gather themselves together against the Most High, against the Holy One of God. He that sitteth in heaven shall allow. What are you doing? You are wasting your time, man. Huh? You are wasting your time. If I breathe on you, you you'll be slain. You are wasting your time. Wasting your time. There is no place on the planet Earth where Jesus is not being mentioned day and night. There is no place on this planet Earth. There is no place. Psalm 110 and verse 1 and 2. The Lord said to my Lord, sit down at my right hand until I make the enemies their foes too. The Lord shall send the rod of his strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of the enemies. That's the end time church. Christ will not come for a struggling church, an oppressed church, but a super reigning church. Rule thou in the midst of the enemies. Rule out in the midst of the enemies. But only the saints are eligible in this takeover agenda. Daniel 7, verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high God. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and, his dom and all dominions shall serve him. So it's not for Jack and Harry. It's for the saints of the most high. This takeover army shall be saintly believers. Saintly believers. People who live in the fear of God at the left time. People who passionately hate evil. People that love righteousness and hate wickedness. Let the picture of Jesus in Psalm 45. <laughs> Thou lovest righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God thy God has anointed thee with the oil of glance above thy fellows. Shall be given to the saints of the Most High God. The end time church shall be empowered to realize this takeover agenda. And thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Psalm 113, I mean 110 verse 3. The world is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. The demonstration of the power and of the spirit will be so thick in the end time, which has begun. I mean, it has begun. But no one puts <laughs> new wine in old wine skin, lest the wine skin bust and the wine is wasted. But new wine must be put into new wine skin. Come on now. Turn yet my reproof. Proverbs 1.23, and I will pour my spirit onto you. There is no crying for empowerment. It's positioning and repositioning for empowerment. The day of his manifold wisdom that empowers believers to reign shall precede the day of his coming. Ephesians 3, 8 to 11. Unto me, whom I'm less than the least of all saints, is this grace given? that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsightly politics of Christ 
and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which in the beginning of the world has been hidden God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. To the intent that now, unto the and powers in heavenly places, might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God, according to the eternal purpose which he purpose in Christ Jesus our Lord. So, what is that eternal purpose? There shall be a raw manifestation of the manifold wisdom of God that will enthrone the saints in the end time because by wisdom things reign, reigns the decree justice. But as we all know, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom.